In Watch Dogs Legion, you have so many choices for who you can recruit that it's easy to get lost amidst all the options and stress about FOMO. After all, there are only so many people you can have on your team. So how do you know which recruits to wait for and which to sign up instantly? Welcome back my fellow gamers, this is Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight aka Aperture Science Test Subject 01610. I was told to test out different operatives to help compile this list of data to help inform on the top 10 best Watch Dogs Legion recruits. So feel free to let me know what you think of my research. And please give me full marks. Gladys, our operating system who runs the test here, has told me if I do a good enough job, I'll be rewarded with some cake afterward. Giving this video a thumbs up will help to ensure I get that cake as a reward. Be sure to stick around to the end of this list as well, where I will be responding to some of your comments. All right, now let's get counting. Number 10, video game designer. This is one of the starting operatives I've seen available. I just love how video game designers always find a way to sneak themselves or at least their profession. This operative, if you choose them, as I've seen, can come with the ability of Drone Summon. Drone Summon can be a useful ability, one that I've seen others use successfully to beckon a drone to their side, which they can then use for themselves once unlocked. People typically like to use an ability like Drone Summon to get themselves a drone to ride around on. Number nine, Pickpocket. Pickpocket is another skill that's a great one to have. For fans of sneaky gameplay and getting in and getting out without bothering anyone, this can be a good one. Pickpockets often come with good with stealth skills that can help you go undetected. Some even come with some hefty and useful weaponry like an MP5. Whew, MP5s are big. Number eight, orderly. Surprisingly, an orderly is not a bad recruit to start off with. Those working in the medical profession tend to be good when it comes to healing or recovery abilities. Something that I always find is underutilized in most styles of gameplay. But hey, the faster and more you can heal, the more damage you can take, the longer you can keep going without dying in theory. You might see abilities like priority care come with the orderly, an effect that grants your team a shorter injury time, meaning that you're ready to get back to taking down Albion after suffering a hit much quicker. Number 7, Friendly Bare Knuckle Champion. You can recruit various bare knuckle champions from across the city, and of course there are different types you might run into. Each has an indomitable will when it comes to fighting, with them able to withstand things like being gassed and gadgets. They often come with tear gas canisters and the ability to stagger their enemies in melee combat. But each also has their own specialty. You might find a bare knuckle fighter who packs a mean right hook that will knock out enemies and is tougher than most. But my favorite version is the friendly fighter who can call on friends to join them for a beatdown in their time of need. If you like getting physical, this is a recruit that is highly recommended for you. Number six, digital privacy advocate. This is a character who will give you reduced cooldown when it comes to hacking, unlimited range when hacking for keys, and can do extra damage against Clan Kelly. The one I've seen mentioned was named Karen Larkin. But of course, all the NPCs are randomly generated in the game, so you never know who could fill this role or what exact skills they could have. Still, this character is great because they have three pretty useful and awesome skills, especially when it comes to hacking. Ideally, you want to look for characters who have multiple skills that you find useful. Number five, hacker. Speaking of hacking, a digital privacy advocate is one of the variety of hackers in the game that you could run into. But no matter their specialty, hackers make for great recruits. You can look for someone who has a profession that meets a criteria for a niche area that you need, but in general, hackers are just great as they allow you to stay safe while completing missions as they are generally good at operating from a safe distance and range. However, their weaknesses lie in getting up close and in the fact that any problems you do run into while hacking can quickly devolve into pretty monstrous level ones. So keep an eye out for hackers who might have weapons, equipment, or extra skills to help negate some of those weaknesses. Number four, robotics expert. Considering that there are pretty much robots around every single corner in Watch Dogs Legion, waiting to find you and strike, having a robotics expert as a recruit is definitely recommended. Robotics experts can help you to control and manipulate other robots in the game, allowing you to take advantage of them and use them for your own purpose in some cases, or in others can help you jam up robots to at least prevent them from getting at you. Number three, Retired Assassin. This one was featured in the trailer and really makes our count cause it just goes to highlight how any profession really can be anyone because every character is randomly 
generated. Here we have a retired assassin who is now an elderly lady. Obviously having an assassin on your team means you are getting amazing takedowns and if she happens to be an old lady, even better in my opinion, cause then you get to watch this granny kick butt and what could be more entertaining than that. Number 2. Spy Spies of course are always useful in the game, especially if you can properly equip them. I'm personally always a huge fan of sneaky stealth gameplay styles. If you are too, then this recruit is highly recommended for you. You are usually looking at skills that will help you manipulate your enemies, positions, and cloak yourself or your victims. Ideally, you want items that will also assist you in this, items like the spy watch, which allows you to jam the weapons of those within range, allowing you to avoid being attacked for a moment and hopefully giving you enough time to stealthily slip away. Number 1. Beekeeper While the spy might be one of the most useful and most skilled operatives in the game for you to recruit, the beekeeper is just one of the best for the sheer fact that they are just a beekeeper and yet they are so deadly. This is a recruit that is actually surprisingly useful and comes with a sweet sweet beekeeping suit because yeah, beekeeper. Utilizing the beekeeper gives you access to awesome abilities like bee swarm and light sentence. You can control robotic bees making them overcharge and explode and you get less jail time when you are arrested because after all, you're just an innocent beekeeper. The whole idea of this character reminds me of the hated in the nation episode of Black Mirror. The idea of someone being able to control bees after watching that episode is a terrifying and deadly prospect. One that I could see being very useful in the hands of the dead sec resistance. Just to clarify that we're not resisting the dead sec. We are the dead sec and we're resisting. Thank you so much for watching. Who are some of your favorite recruits from the game? Are there any that you have deemed useless? How are you enjoying Watch Dogs Legion overall? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, it's time to turn to some comments from one of our latest videos, Top 10 Scary Nintendo Creepy Pastas. Overall deal comments, I love your costume Amanda. Nice, the cake is a lie reference too. Wait, the cake is a lie? The cute Yoshi writes, you got trapped inside Animal Crossing New Horizons so you don't have to deal with all the bad stuff that's happening in 2020. Lucky, I would rather be in any game than in real life this year. <laughs> Fair point. ACNH would at least be a nice game to be trapped in. Island life forever, my friends. Dancing Cinders and Sparks exclaims, The spoopiness is real! It certainly is. I hope you're having the most spoopy and most spooky of Halloween weekends right now. And that's all the time we have for comments today. Be sure to comment below for a chance to have your thoughts and feels featured in a future video. This has been Top 10 Gaming, and I'm your host, Amanda McKnight, aka Test Subject 01610. Till next time, keep on testing on.